Oh, Mrs. McDonald, I was just saying oh, to your hello. husband. Hello. Come in. <coughs> oh, thank you. <coughs> uh, well, I don't know where to begin, really. I mean, uh... Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Alan and today we've got a really interesting character. It's Brian Mosley who played Alf Roberts from Coronation Street. So hang around, we're off now. It's going to be a good one this one. I'm going to enjoy it. I hope you do too. It's a lovely day. The sun is out. So Brian was born on the 25th of August 1931. I think it's a well-known fact. I think I'm correct in saying unfortunately um, Brian died in Shipley Centre outside the doors of a supermarket in the centre of the square. I remember it being in the newspaper, so he'd had a bad heart for a long time. And he met his wife, Norma, in 1949 when he was an air traffic controller. And uh, of course he was a big star as Alf Roberts, or Councillor Roberts, as he became later on in Coronation Street. Um, pretty big part of the show when I was a kid. His on-street wife was Sue Nichols, who played a lovely part. And uh, he, in his earlier days, um, he was a, an encyclopedia salesman and he came from uh, quite a poor background, a bit like Coronation Street to look at. You know, I've seen the um, This Is Your Life programme about him and it was very similar to Coronation Street. But um, I know it's down this route, this, we're on the route down here, look, I'll just show you. It's somewhere on the left hand side down there, so that's where we're heading. And in his early days, he was at the Northern Theatre School in Bradford, where I, I come from, Bradford, and uh, he worked very hard to become successful. And the very first episode he appeared in was the 18th episode of Coronation Street in 1961, where he was working like as a post handler. And uh, yeah, I mean, he went from strength to strength. He became a lot more popular in the show as, as time went by. You made your first appearance in Coronation Street. It was February the 16th, 1961. It was the 18th episode, and you were a post office official who was a friend of Ken Barlow's dad, Frank. Yeah. This is how you stamped your mark. What's up with you today? What do you mean, what's up with me? Well, I've loved it half a dozen words out of you all morning. You, what's that? Chichi stick. And don't change the subject. And he did a lot of work on a lot of films. He was a stunt man because of his size. He was quite a big guy. Um, he was in The Avengers, The Saint, uh, Mercy War 10. The, the list goes on. But of course, a lot of people remember him from the Michael Caine scene on the car park, don't they, in Get Carter. And uh, of course, he runs to get the character. Michael Caine beats him up and throws him off the car park. They've since demolished that, by the way. But um, yeah, he's remembered a lot for that, which, you know, it's probably not fair anyway because he did a lot more a lot more things than that. I actually met him, I used to work at a part-time job in a garage on Canal Road in Bradford and Brian, he used to come in quite regularly because I believe he lived at Nab Wood which is just over there and I can't really remember a lot about him but I remember that he was a nice guy, that's all I can remember and the fact that I was quite sort of ooh, but uh, yeah I used to laugh at some of the people. Uh, one guy used to come in with a Rolls Royce and put one pound in I used to think, well, it's going to use more than that starting it up, isn't it? <laughs> I think it was a fish shop owner in Ecclesville, actually. Anyway, um, back to Brian. So that was a big scene where he gets thrown off the, the car park and he, he lands with a big thud, doesn't he? And he's dead in the scene. Jack! <laughs> you shouldn't have shown the film to Frank. I had to. It was the only way I could get at them. Well, you shouldn't have. Your brother was going to the police. You should <laughs> You didn't have the guts to do it yourself, did you? They killed me! They killed my brother, he's oh, I didn't mean to do it! Uh, yeah, Michael Ken. I also met him. Not that I wish to go on about it, but he was a great guy. I read his autobiography and I saw him at the Dorchester once. I was there, I was Roger Moore's web manager and I, I saw him and I thought, is he going to be funny with me? But I walked straight towards him and I said, if you had your teddy boy outfit on now, I could call you a and I'm not going to say the word. And it's because in his autobiography, he dresses up as a teddy boy when he's a teenager. And he see, and he's really nervous as the, in real life. And he sees a big pack of teddy boys coming towards him. And it, it parts like the waves. And he goes through the middle of all these teddy boys like that. And he gets right to the end. And the smallest one's there. And he thinks, oh, I'm getting away with this. They think I'm a teddy boy. And the last one goes around and says, can't say the word. <laughs> and his whole world falls in because... You know, the last one sort of killed his confidence kind of thing. But yeah, and Michael Caine was really good about it. He laughed and joked and he was very nice and he liked the, he liked the funny bit. Roger didn't understand why I did that and he was surprised, but 
because under- later on he understood. The other little claim to fame of Michael was that I was in an episode of Heartbeat um, dressed with two of the guys as Scotsman and inside the belt of the outfit it said Michael Caine. I think he must have worn it in uh, uh, Bullseye with uh, Roger Moore. <laughs> Of course, everybody else to do the Michael Caine impersonation, don't they? It's only supposed to blow the beep beep doors off. <laughs> yeah, not a lot of people know that. Okay, I've given up. Don't don't get onto me. Right, we're getting close. We're going to spin you around. Here we go. It is. I know these two. I've seen them in the picture. These really tall ones. So we're getting pretty close now. Brian joined the cast of Coronation Street in February 1961 episode 18 and made reoccurrence appearances until 1963 as a post office worker Alfred Alf Roberts, a colleague of Frank Barlow. He returned to the series briefly in 1967 before rejoining as a regular cast member in 1971. Alf became best known as the owner of the corner shop, local councillor and twice mayor of Weatherfield in 1973 and 1994. His character was married three times, initially to Phyllis Plant, 1946 to 1970, who did not appear on screen, secondly to Rene Bradshaw, 1978 to 1980, and latterly to Audrey Roberts, from 1985 onwards. Brian's appearance in the soap opera became less frequent following a serious heart attack in 1997, causing him to take eight months off from the show. After 37 years and almost 2,000 episodes, his character was to be written out of the series. Brian was upset at the prospect of the character's demise and refused to act out the final dying scene until Granada bosses offered him 10 times his usual rate to play the scene. Alf Roberts made his final appearance on New Year's Day 1999, dying peacefully on the screen in his sleep watched by more than 18 million viewers. He received a standing ovation from the cast on the set. Brian recorded his final scene on the 4th of December 1998 and died six weeks later. Brian also appeared in Coronation Street cast in the 1989 Royal Variety performance and the 1990 LWT special Happy Birthday Coronation Street hosted by Scylla Black celebrating 30 years of the soap. When he was very sick, he had quite a few heart attacks. He went to Lord's, he was a Christian. And when he'd been to Lord's, he actually felt coming back that he may not make it back, he was so poorly. And suddenly he got back and he was, he was almost totally well. So it kind of reinforced his belief, you know? Right, I think we're here, I can see the curved stone. It's this one over here. There it is, unless I'm wrong, that's the one. I don't think so. By the way, that car parking get cart has been demolished now. It was the Gateshead Trinity Square car park. So we're here, look. You can see with me. There we are. The great Brian Moss, who played Alf Roberts. And of course, Councillor Roberts, as he became later on. Fantastic. It's a really nice spot, actually. Really peaceful. There's a train line nearby, but apart from that, it's lovely. Oh, it's nice that, isn't it? It's really nice. Right, let's read the stone. Hello, Brian. Met you a few times in the past. Brian Mosley, 25th of August, 1931, to the 9th of February, 1999, and his beloved wife, Norma, 5th of June, 1932, to the 16th of October, 2011. It says around the edge, Yet will I not forget thee, behold I have written thee upon the palms of my hands. Oh, I see. There we go, look. Can you see? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? There we are. It was very nice to meet you in that garage, Brian, all those years ago when I was a teenager. You used to come in on your way back to Nabwood, I believe. And you were great in Coronation Street and in real life you were you could see you were a very very lovely man it's nothing oh there is something on the back oh it's the company H.H. H. Birch and Sons 1146 there we go
So Brian, as he said on the programme, This Is Your Life, he started off as the front half of a cow called Genevieve. Went to uh, quite a long way his acting career. He had lots of parts, but of course mostly it's going to be Coronation Street he's remembered for, and by myself. But um, yeah, fine actor, fine actor indeed. Anyway, thank you Brian for all the memories and the great acting. There we are, Brian Mosley. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's a lovely afternoon and that was very pleasant to do, Brian Mosley. I'm sure lots of you out there, if you remember him from Coronation Street or you met him, you know, or you, um, you liked his character and he reminds you of your childhood, leave me a comment below and um, I'll get back to you on that. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell for future videos. We all say that, don't we? But it's true, you will see him if you do that. It's free, isn't it? So it's a lovely spot, I'll show you the spot, look, here we are. Very peaceful, very distant sound of the road. And there is a railway line but it's very infrequent. I've only heard one or two trains. That's where Brian is there. It's Nabwood Cemetery and Crematorium. So, thank you for watching everyone, you take care. Bye from me, Alan. See ya.